Curry and his wife are also working to help families in Africa. His 3 for 3 challenge donates three life-saving bed nets for every three-pointer he shoots. Nothing But Nets distributes the mosquito nets to prevent malaria in Africa. In 2013, Curry went to Africa to help with the campaign. You can read about it, you can see pictures, you can watch what's on the television, but until you're actually there, you're incapable of fully appreciating both the beauty of the continent and just the also dire poverty um, that's there. Your wife said that 2013 Tanzania trip really changed you. Um, how so? You basically just described it. I mean, um, <clears throat> when you go to refugee camp and and uh, see 60,000 you know, displaced Congolese refugees um, with nothing, really. They had really nothing to, to, to live on. Um, you know, everybody has the orange tint from the clay that's there. It's, it's, um, but they seemed so happy when we, when we, when we came there to see visitors um, and people that were there to help them. Uh, just see the smiles on their faces. Um, for me, being, being with nothing but nets and hopefully, you know, doing whatever we can to eradicate malaria um, because it is preventable with those bed nets that we've, we've been, uh, you know, purchasing and sending over to the places in need. To see moms and dads over there with, with you know, one, two, three, four, five kids not be able to protect their children uh, from something as simple as a mosquito um, was very heartbreaking. Uh, you know, we talked to a lot of families and they had stories of basically 99% of all the kids that we talked to or families that we talked to, their kids have had, had some episode with malaria, whether um, it be one of them you know, passing away before the age of two, which is where they're most likely affected or um, you know, having to attend to you know, their, their children um, being sick. It was, just, it was just heartbreaking and something that... Uh, as a parent myself, I couldn't imagine being in that situation and uh, doing whatever we can to help them um, and just, you know, hopefully raising enough money to, to get rid of that problem, which is definitely realistic, a realistic goal that we can do. What from what you saw most sticks out to you? Um, we went to the maternity ward and there were about nine or ten moms um, that were nursing their, their infants who had had malaria already in the first six months of their life. Um, and it seemed, made, it was, they were almost helpless to a certain extent because um, the, the uh, facilities there were, were not what they should be for, um, to help you know, that, that situation. The, uh, they didn't have the supplies, they didn't have all the things that they needed. And you, know, you walk by that maternity ward, you see those, those uh, sick children, and you look on the wall and there's a big poster that they keep with stats of, of all the diseases that they're dealing with on a daily basis. And you see malaria and see how many children have died. Um, just in that refugee camp alone, um, that's something that you never wanna see. And uh, that image is, is, is sticks with me um, pretty heavily, um, you know, knowing that with a couple more nets and a couple more people there to help, um, there could be, we could helpfully take that number way down and, uh, and have these kids survive. One of the guys at the camp that played basketball, the, the best, uh, gave a note to you at, at the end. Do you remember what the note said? Uh, he wanted, one of them wanted to have an email chain and wanted me to be his, his basically his pen pal. He gave me his, his, uh, his email and I actually still email him about once every month or so. Oh, really? Um, and, uh, he was actually really good. He could play. They, they made a basketball court out of clay with, uh, chalk lines. Um, and it was, it was fun to see them just enjoy the game that's meant so much to me and my family, um, all the way in in Tanzania um, and then have that kid, you know, reach out to me and say, I just want to talk, you know. Um, he gave me a little trophy that they made 
Um, it had like two hands coming up like a jump ball with a basketball on top of it, uh, which I still have in my house. So that was pretty special uh, to watch them play and just try to you know, showcase what they could do for me. Um, I don't think they really knew who I was as a basketball player, but uh, I'm just a visitor here to distribute some nets and help them out. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.